Hello Stampers and Crafters, thanks for joining me today. Today I'd like to show you how to make this little four box gift box. Uh, I cased this from a uh, German uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, she had put a video on Pinterest. However, I wasn't able to understand all of her instructions, so I kind of just watched her video and then tweaked it a little bit to uh, make one. And I actually made two, but uh, I think it's a pretty cute little concept when you open it up, take the ribbon out, take the ribbon off, and open it up, then it's it's like this, and you have your treats inside. So I'd like to show you how to make that today. So first of all, you're gonna start with a four and a half by six piece of designer series paper. And for this one, I used the free designer series paper, botanical butterfly designer series paper out of the celebration catalog that's going on right now with Stampin' Up. And this is really a, a really pretty, pretty paper. Um, I like, in fact, I like all the sheets. And then I cut out a little butterfly here for an embellishment. And then also the sweet wishes that I put on here is another celebration product, which means that you get this free if you spend $50 on Stampin' Up! products. And I use the sweet wishes out of this Hello Cupcake, another cute stamp set. So those are going on right now at Stampin' Up! Okay, we're gonna start with four and a half by six. You need four sheets of four and a half by six to make uh, four little boxes. And I have one here ready. But I'm going to show you how to make um, all four of them. We're only going to make one together. So put my scoreboard in here, simply scoreboard. And I'm going to score at three quarter, two and a quarter, three and three quarter, and five and a quarter. And of course, my six inches is across the top of the ruler. Okay, so three quarter, two and a quarter, three and three quarter, and five and a quarter. Then I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to score at one and a half and at three. Again, you need four of these. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to trim it. And this is what it looks like when you trim. So I have one here out of the designer series paper that I'm going to trim so you can see how I trim the boxes. Okay, so I'm going to trim off my little tabs or trim so I have little tabs. Turn that out. Okay, make sure you keep a straight line here. That's going to be the edge of your box. Okay, now I need to trim these off. Trim these off. I'm just going to trim this a little bit so it fits in there good. Trim this just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then trim this off just a little bit more. Okay, so I have that. Okay, now go around the other side, do the same thing. Just a little bit right here, and just a little bit here, and a little bit here. Okay, so there I have it trimmed. Let me straighten this up here just a little bit. Okay, so there I have it trimmed just like my pattern. Let's see, I forgot this one. Okay, it's trimmed just like my pattern here. So you trim in here, these are your fold tabs inside, and this is gonna fold over those fold tabs to kind of give you a, a clean finish on the edge there. Okay, so I'm gonna fold on all my score lines. And I like to use Tombow glue, so I'm just gonna take my Tombow glue here
a lot easier when you're not doing it with the camera. Okay, let's line that up like that. Line this one up like that. I don't want to slip out. Okay, over here, same thing. Make sure you line, make sure you get a good, nice, you get that edge of your uh, box on, right on the edge here, so you have a nice, crisp, clean box. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little tombow here, put a little tombow here, and then fold these over. That cleans that up really nice. I've got a couple little clippies here. I'm going to close pins here. I'm going to hold that. Okay, I'm going to let that sit and dry for just a minute. And we're going to work on the outside, the black cardstock here, basic black cardstock. I have two strips here that I've cut. They're, you know, your box, the base of your box is one and a half square. So these are just a hair over one and a half inch, just, just a little hair, just so that fits in there really nice when it sits on there. Okay, so I have two of these, and these are at nine by one and a half, two of them. And then I already have them done. Oh, I'm sorry, let me score here. We're gonna score at three and at six, at three and at six. So then I'll take my adhesive and just put these two pieces together like that. That gives me the bottom of my base to wrap around the four boxes. It just kind of sturdies it up a little bit. So I take the edge of this and put it right where that fold is for that six inch score line. Okay, so we're just gonna have that like that. Okay. And so I have these boxes already made. Okay, my other one's drying for just a minute. And the little candies that you put inside, make sure that you use a glue dot on the bottom of them to keep the candy in because your box is gonna fold inside itself and you don't wanna fold it and then the candy fall out. That wouldn't be cool. Okay, so I've marked this where they go and where the little box is set up. So they go on the outside of the three score line and then you make sure you alternate them. That's how you get your little pattern here. And then this one will go here and then when this one's dry, it will go here. So there we go. Okay. So this ought to be ready. And then I'll put a little glue dot on my candy to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out when I put my box together. Okay, so we're going to start assembling. And I'm going to, uh, when I put it together, see where these tabs are? This is my clean line. This, if you turn it like this, you're going to have the edges. So I try to put the outside, I try to put it outside so. So just kind of look, when you have your fold over tab, you want that facing, you want that toward you. So I'm just going to put some tumble and put it right on that three inch score line and alternate your pattern if you've changed your pattern, you know. Um, I didn't make one of these directional, so my paper's not directional, so I don't know how that would work if you had directional, so you might want to keep that in mind. You don't have a set pattern. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll let those sit for just a moment. Okay, that looks like that's drying pretty good. So while we're waiting on that to finish up, let's go to um, the sentiment that I sentiment that I wanted to put on there. And again, I use Sweet Wishes from Hello Cupcake, and then I use the stitched shapes framelits to do my oval, and then I cut out the ruffled edge to put um, scalloped edge to put my back grant for my backing to outline it. I really like that. That's um, Granny Smith. What is that? Granny Smith green. I love that color. Okay, so I'll take my Tombow. Just line that up. Oops. Turned out really cute. Tombow just lets me give that, gives me just a second to move it around a little bit in case I misaligned it. 
And then of course I have my butterfly that I cut out to put on there for embellishment. Okay, so now when you put your box together, you want to lay it on its side. So you're just gonna have to kind of take it slow and it looks like, oh my gosh, it's not gonna come together, it's not gonna come together, but lay it on its side, let all those uh, pieces work their way together. And then once you put the ribbon on it and everything, it will be just fine. And the ribbon that I'm gonna use is um, the polka dot tool ribbon to tie it all together. So here's my box. Okay. Get it all worked in there together, kind of settle it down a little bit. Okay, and then tie it. Okay, so I'm going to put my butterfly on there, and you'll notice when I put my butterfly on there, let's put our cinnamon on there first. Okay, you can only glue on one box, because if you put if you put glue adhesive on the whole thing, it's your box won't come apart. So there's the adhesive that I'm going to stick on one box, got that one that just doesn't want to lay down there. Okay, and then my butterfly, I'm gonna put my butterfly this way because when you open the box up, it will it will look like it's flying up instead of flying down. So I'm just gonna stick that on there like that. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, and then the other one that shows it open Oh, and on this one, one thing I did is I just kind of put a couple of glue dots there to hold the ribbon in place so they have the ribbon. This one, too, I put a couple of glue dots, so I haven't done it on that one. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this project, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for joining me.